what's going on guys, Kurosama here. And today we're taking a look at a very unique set of kits, uh, two in which is a part of a line that is old but kind of new. It is the entry grade RX-78-2. Now the entry grade is actually fairly new to the you know overall line that Bandai puts out. We have some with Kamen Rider, Dragon Ball Z, but the RX-78-2 entry grade actually did not hit retail about a month ago it was, it was over in Gundam Base Tokyo and more recently it actually hit the retail shelves but for the time being we was able to get our hands on the Bam Presto Lottery clear RX-78-2 as well as the G3 which is actually fantastic I didn't think that they would actually do the G3 that early for the entry grade but sure enough they did and there's also a of all that is a part of like a bucket over at Gundam Base I, I don't even know it's kind of crazy but anyways, how you obtain these kits is what's pretty cool. You basically go to 7-Eleven or any you know sponsored location. You pay for a 780 yen ticket and you keep pulling. And you keep pulling. And you keep pulling. You try your best to def just defeat the odds. But you keep getting prize eye. H. You get... You get C. You don't want C. It's an SD. All you want is the E, the F, the A, and the B. And you don't get it. And then you hear about you know ten thousand yen in the hole, and you're like, I just want, the, I just want an entry grade. And it's, you know you you finally manage to get that one F. And then, but then you're like, I just need the, I need a normal one too. But you got all these plates. You got all these clear folders. But you do actually manage to get them after a little bit of a investment per se, and uh, luckily I've been having the Discord kind of uh, you know have my back on not absorbing all the funding, and they've been purchasing a lot of the extra ones. And I actually still have like four entry grades in the corner. Uh, no one's really bought them, so they're kind of just sitting there. But other than the money sink that is to try to obtain these, they are really good. And I think actually pretty much worth the investment because if you look at the aftermarket, they're going anywhere between like 1,500 yen to 2,000 yen, uh, which is actually pretty insane for something that's an entry grade. Uh, so I've been able to sell mine for about 15 bucks each. I think that was fairly reasonable uh, because I spend technically eight bucks per. Uh, so it's not that much of a market up uh, price, but 2,000 yen is actually pretty up there. Now, although New Type is not directly selling these particular kits, they will be selling the entry grade. At least I'm pretty sure they will. So if you do want to get an entry grade model kit, go check out newtypehq.com slash Krosama so that way you can get 10% off your first purchase. But let's go ahead and check out these kits. Now, for starters, these are the packaging that you're going to get. They just come in these bags, and I've heard some rumors about issues with the parts breaking while in the bags. But luckily for me, I haven't had such issues. They've been pretty much good. And then on the back side, it actually has like some nice little poses. Uh, you have the layout of like how you construct it. And they got like just some simple instructions. But overall, the packaging is pretty okay. It's not too bad, but you really can't stack it or anything. Now with the model kit built, I can actually say this is a beauty. I love every minute about it. It looks so good. It's very charming. It has just everything I really wanted in a simplistic RX-78-2. And this is something like once you get the normal version, painting it is actually going to be really cool. It's not that many parts. Uh, you're going to have to do a lot of like extra work, like scribing and all that, if you want to put details in there. Because when it comes to the detail section of this review it's going to be pretty barren. Now, that's not to say that there aren't details. It's just not like armor level detailing or no inner frame at all. So the best thing I can mention is that it is going to have some pretty good uh, part separation, like uh, color separation. So you have like the little crotch V. That is actually going to be its own individual part, which is really, really nice because a lot of past RX-70-2s in the high grade or entry grade line those have been stickers, which is, ah, uh, it's atrocious. But that's pretty much it on the surface level detailing. It's a little bit of a disappointment, I can say, but it is an entry grade. So I wasn't even expecting any kind of like panel lines or anything crazy from the get go. Now, normally I would talk about gimmicks or some kind of like extra feature about a model kit because I would say most kits do. This one doesn't. It really has nothing going for it. 
aside from just being a really quick and easy build kit. It's really reminiscent of the 30-minute missions. If you ever built those, the instructions is very, very similar where um, you can break the runner apart and you can essentially like build it in like the sections so like one part of the runner is only going to be for the head parts another part of the runner is only going to be for the leg parts it's really nice it's a really cool feature for you know beginners of the gunpla scene um but yeah there's nothing that you're going to do with this without some extra modding work because it's just a very simple rx78-2 now here's where we get to the juicy stuff. We are going to be talking about articulation. And this thing, for something that's very cheap and small, packs a lot of articulation. So let's go ahead and start with the head. Basically going to be on a dual ball joint, so for both the neck and the body. The arms are going to be on these kind of like connecting pieces, so it's going to be able to go up and down. The shoulder armor is just going to clip on the shoulder piece. The shoulder is going to be on a ball joint, so that is going to provide a long range of movement. Bicep swivel. Only one point of articulation for the elbow, but it actually does go up pretty far. Hands are going to be on ball joints. And for the body, it is going to be on a ball joint, like kind of closer to the middle where the cockpit is. So that's going to provide a good ab crunch. Uh, and then other than that, it's just going to be on a peg so it can move back and forth. Front skirts can move up. Side skirts are going to be on a ball joint. No back skirt movement. Hips are going to be on a ball joint, but don't worry. This thing is still going to be able to pull off some really amazing poses, as well as some decent splits, not all the way, but it's still fairly impressive. Knee is going to have two points of articulation. Ankle is going to be able to move back and forth. And then on the foot, it is going to be on a ball joint, so that's going to provide some really good extended movement. And in summary, you're going to be able to pull off some dynamic poses. Honestly, I can sit here all day just playing with this toy and putting it in some crazy, crazy poses. Uh, just things that I really can't do with a lot of the older uh, high grades, like the 30th. I feel like this is just significantly better than the 30th in every single way. So, I mean, that's to me, that's rather impressive. Now for accessories, the RX-78-2 is actually just going to come with the beam sabers. No beam saber effect parts, unfortunately. And it's also going to come with the beam rifle, which is going to have a little bit of articulation for that scope. It looks good. It's fine. It's not going to have any color except for the, just the gray, but that looks good. Then you're going to have the shield, which looks really good. Uh, the yellow is going to be obviously a separate piece. It's going to clip to the forearm, and it's going to have that grip, so that way the hand can basically just grip on it. And then if you want, you can clip the shield directly on the backpack. Now, we talked a lot about the RX-70-2. Let's talk about the G3. It is exactly the same model in every single way. The only difference is obviously going to be the colors. It's going to be sporting this kind of like gray, smoky, clearish color. Looks good. I absolutely love it. And it's going to have the purple, uh, just like feet and body, like just some of the extra armor, having that nice purple I think it looks fantastic, and it's definitely my favorite version of the two, but um, it you know, doesn't come with the extra accessories, and it's funny enough that this is actually the more expensive of the two, so I think it's just because it's G3, you know, it's a little bit more special because you don't see too many G3s around, it's always just like a special edition of something, so pretty awesome, um, but yeah, I, I honestly see this always being the hot topic when it comes to the entry grade line. Now, something to note is that I actually broke the V-fin of my G3 because I was trying to sand it down. I guess I put a little bit too much pressure, and the V-fin broke. So, just a word of caution, be careful when you're handling these kits because clear plastic is always a little bit more brittle, in my opinion. I, I feel like it's it's more fragile. So, uh, whenever you're, like, if you're deciding to sand it down or if you're doing any kind of, like, you know, cutting, uh, even putting the parts together... Just be careful. It's a simple enough kit, but even doing something as simple as sanding could possibly break the more weaker uh, components of the actual kit. For comparisons, here it is next to the G30th and the Master Grade 2.0. So that pretty much concludes my review. Honestly, these two are fantastic in every single way. I I think I'm going to definitely keep them uh, for the most part high grades. I kind of just like put them in a box or you know put them somewhere else to try and sell them. But for these two, they look good, and I'm definitely going to put them on the shelf with uh, all the other like high grade or 144 scale RX 780 twos I have. But they look good enough. I, I think they're fantastic. They're an instant cop. If you can get them for $15 or less, definitely pick it up. 
if you're going above 15 bucks, you, you really need to be a diehard fan. Um, you're not getting anything like crazy special when it comes to these kits. It's just that they're semi-clear, so that's that's really the only kind of attraction to it. But it being an entry grade, you're getting a really well articulated, uh, like I would say decently kind of like part separated model kit. So if you want to do some painting, these aren't the ones to go to. But if you want to like maybe paint the solid parts and then keep the clear clear, you can definitely do that. Uh, otherwise, this is definitely going to be a cop, guys. And uh, if you're in the Discord, I still am selling a couple of the entry grades, so you can definitely pick them up there. Um, but otherwise, I mean, this is just something I, I'm i really happy I picked up when I could. And every time I go out, I do make it uh, an effort to go to like a 7-Eleven or a Lawson or something like that to try and find more that actually are uh, have not been picked up. And right now, I think it's pretty much discontinued in Japan, but there's still some stores trying to do the lottery tickets for the rest of whatever stock they have. Um, I actually managed to get some over the weekend, and I got the last prize, RX-78-2, which instantly sold on my Discord. So really awesome that I'm still able to get these when I can, and I did get an extra G3, which I sold. But other than that, guys, uh, definitely thank you for watching. Uh, if you can, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you have not already. And if you have not thought about becoming a member, take a look at those perks. And I'm going to be making some more adjustments in the near future. But hey, becoming a member is definitely going to support this channel. And it's going to make me provide more content for you guys with all of your assistance. And thank you to the current members of the channel. But that's it for me. I will see you guys in the next review. Bye-bye.